Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful sunflower seed beads bracelet. It's a match to the earrings that I showed you in my previous video. That is why it's a good idea to subscribe so you could um, be notified for my new videos and make matching sets of jewelry. And um, if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And I will show you really easy step by step how to make this bracelet. So I'm sure by the end of this video, you will be able to make it. And uh, if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my new merch store where you could find t-shirts, hoodies, pillows, phone covers, mugs and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you. They help you express your personality better and they are a great present for you or for your beading friends and you could find links down there in the description and here at the i icon. When you buy stuff from there you support me, my channel and my mission. And now guys, I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm going to use are five colors of 11 OC beads. And I'm using a clasp here, use any type you, long, you want. And I'm using size 10 beading needle. Here I use monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. And I squeeze my monofilament to go with my flat nose pliers to go through size 10 beading needle. But if you use regular beading threads, they are made flat and they easily go through beading needles so you won't need the pliers and of course I'm using scissors. Now I'm going to take four feet of thread on my needle which is 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys and now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up eight of these beautiful black beads. Okay and I have my eight here and I'm going to slide them down I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. I'm making a loop and going with my tail thread twice or three times through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. Now I have what is called a surgeon's knot and I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay, pulling. Then what I need to add here is one red bead and as I'm going through this black bead here I will go back in circle through the same bead and you see I have something like a loop between my beads, okay? Now I will go through the following C bead Take just one C bead and again repeat this. Go back through this black bead. Okay. Go through the following black bead and see what I have up until now. Take just one red. This is copper red bead. Okay. And go through this black bead and if you can through the following black bead in one movement. Okay, now continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and I just added the last C bead from this row. And what I want to do is go back through this red bead here. And step up in my next row. So I went from this black to this red bead, okay? Now what I want to do is turn directions because it's easier for me to work in this way 
I'm right-handed okay and I will take one black bead and go to the following red bead then I will take one more black go to the red take one more and here everywhere between my red beads I will add blacks until the end of this row Okay guys, and now this row is ready and it consists of 16 beads. Okay, and now what I want to do is take one more red bead and as I'm exiting from a black bead, I'm going back in circle the same way I showed you before. Okay, and I'm pulling. And this step I will do a little bit different. I will take two black beads here. And as I'm exiting from this red, I will go back in circle to this red. But this time, I'm adding two blacks instead of one. Okay. Then I will take again one red and go around through this black bead in circle. Then I'm here at the red one and I'm going to take two black beads this time. And I'm going around in circle through the red and exiting out of the next black one. And I need a red one here. Okay, go out of the next red, take two blacks, go in circle through the red and through the following black. Okay, and one more red, go back. Just like that, okay? And continue this, two blacks, one red, two blacks, one red, and when I'm up to here, I will be back to show you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I'm adding the last two blacks from this row. And now, what I want to do is go here to one of those blacks that I just added. And in this way, I'm stepping up in my next row. And now, what I want to do is flip my work and go around through all of those beads in this direction because I want to make them stay nice and straight. They're a little bit curly now, you see. Okay guys, and now I'm exiting out of this black bead and what I want to do is light orange, dark orange and light orange. And I will skip this red one here and go through the following two black beads. Like that. Then again, light orange, dark orange orange and light orange skipping this red and going through the following two black beads so 
skip this red one and go through the following two black beads. And then again a light, a dark and a light. Go through the following two. And continue this until the end of this row. I will do this off camera and I'll meet you here at the last step. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. Just like that. I'm pulling. Now you see what I have. And I will go through this orange in this direction. Now I have the beginning of my petals. And now in this row I'm going to add only yellow beads, okay? I'm taking three yellows. And I'm going through this orange and through the following two blacks. If you can, do this in one movement. It will be faster and easier. But if it's difficult for you, do this first through the orange and then through the blacks, okay? Then I'm going through this orange one here. And I'm taking three yellow beads, like that. Going again through the orange and through the following two black beads. Okay. Here is what I have. And I'm going through this orange in this direction. Three yellows. Go through this orange and again through the following two blacks. And again through this orange here. Now continue these guys up to here like I showed you in these first three steps. If you forgot how I did it, rewind it and repeat this here and here. I will do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Uh, don't worry that your petals move and bend uh, back and forth. Uh, we'll fix them at the last row. Okay guys, and I'm here where I just added my last three beads and I went through these two black beads and now what I want to do is go through this orange and then through the yellow after that. And this time I'm going to be adding five yellow beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I'm going through these two yellows. And again, I'm going through the blacks down there. And my first petal is ready. I'm gonna do my second. And again, don't worry that they bend and move. In the last step, we are going to make them stay in one and the same direction, okay? Okay, I have five again. Going here through these beads. Oh my god. I was able to go through all of the beads I wanted, okay, in one movement. Usually it's not the case. And I'm showing you for the last time. And then I'm sure you will be able to make it by yourself until the end of this row. Okay, now do this five more times and I'll be back to show you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And what I want to do is go here through all of my beads in this petal. Then I'm going through the top bead here. And then I'm going two beads to the center. Where two beads separate me from the inner black part. Okay. And here I will take two black beads. Okay. I have my two on my needle. And I'm going in the same place here. 
here at this side I have four beads and I'm going in the middle here two beads separate me from the top and two beads so separate me from the middle black part okay here I am now I'm going to take two more black beads you see I'm going in the same place or one bead after the orange okay and I will show you one more time and I will let you continue by yourself okay now continue this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here adding my last two beads I'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last two beads from this row and what I want to do now is cut my thread okay I will go through some beads here I will make a knot by making a loop and going once going second time through the loop I've made pulling then go through the following C bead like that and cut your thread you could uh, make several more knots and then cut it but now I will show you faster and the first element of my bracelet is ready okay guys and now I did a second element the same way I showed you and now I'm going to show you how to start your bracelet now I have about an arm span of thread on my needle and I will take one of my elements okay like that and what I want to do is add here this thread okay I'm taking my new thread and I will add it the same way uh, like I showed you how I'm finishing my work okay but here what I do differently is that I hold my tail thread I need to hold it okay now I'm making loop between those two beads and I'm going once then I'm going second time through the loop I've made I make sure that I'm between those two beads and I'm pulling and the whole time I'm holding my tail thread okay then guys I will go through this yellow and I want to reach my next petal I will exit here at the top and then I tr go through the following C bit and what I want to do is take two black beads my clasp and then again two black beads so this is what I have on my needle and I will go in the same place here in my next flower okay then I will go through all of those beads here because I want to reinforce this part I want to make it stronger okay and you could do this at least three times or even more if you can and now what I want to do is go to the other side of my element because I want to show you how to connect your next element but before that of course you could cut this tail thread here 
that you have from the thread you just add it okay cut it then I will reach the other part of my work okay Now you see I'm exiting out of this yellow bit and I'm going to take my other element and what I do is that I take one black bead, go through this yellow like that, okay, then I will take one more black like that and I will go through this yellow here again okay just a little bit of fixing and now I will go one more time around this circle of beads here. Okay, and after I reinforced this part, I want to go here at the other side in my next petal. And I'm exiting here. This is one bead before uh, this top bead here angle bit and what I need to take is one black bit then go here through this yellow and pull then I'm going to take just one more black and I will go here through this yellow again Here is what I have. I'm making a right angle weave by adding two black beads around the yellows. Okay. And I'm pulling. Okay. Sometimes I need to use my pliers. Okay. Now, what I want to do is go around this petal, exit here, and connect my next element like that. And I will make more and more elements and connect them. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to show you the end of my work. Okay guys, and when I continued making more and more elements and connecting them, this is what I have. And now I'm going to show you how to attach your jump ring. Okay, I'm taking two seed beads, my jump ring, and then again two seed beads. And this is just like I added my clasp, okay? Going through here in circle. Okay, then through those beads again. Okay. 
and I'm usually doing this three times and now I will do the familiar step of making knots and cutting my thread okay I'm here between those two beads here I make a loop and go once and go second time here through the loop I make I make sure that I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from okay then in my next step I go through the following seed bead and when I cut my thread my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my bracelet is ready if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos in this way you will know when I release new video and in this way you could make matching sets don't forget that I first made sun flower earrings and then I'm making a bracelet and uh, this is a way to make um, jewelry sets and um, if you want to support me you could also like share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations you could also check my new merch store where you could find hoodies mugs pillows t-shirts phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you and when you buy stuff from there you support me my channel and my mission and uh, you could find links down there in description and here at the eye icon thank you so much for watching bye bye for me